Hey everybody, um, today I am doing a soup for the Soup Delicious um, collab that we were doing a bunch of uh, ladies on YouTube. And today I'm going to make a vegan potato cauliflower broccoli soup. And it wasn't going to be uh, broccoli, but I'll explain that in a minute. So let's go ahead and look at the list of ingredients that you need. Okay, so the recipe um, calls for two russet potatoes, but I'm using three to make up for some of the cauliflower broccoli that's missing from this. Um, so I'm going to use three uh, russet potatoes. It says to use 16 ounces of frozen cauliflower, but I couldn't find just cauliflower by itself. It all had broccoli or broccoli and carrots, so I just got the broccoli and the cauliflower. And it's only 12 ounces, and that's why I'm kind of using another potato to kind of fill in for that. Um, and then um, I'm using these a few little gold potatoes just to roast to put on top of the soup so this doesn't actually go, this part right here doesn't actually go in the soup. Um, and then I have one and a third cup of uh, nutritional yeast and we get this from um, in bulk from like a um, health food store or like Whole Foods or Center Market, whatever you have there that kind of sells healthy stuff in bulk. And um, it just has like a cheesy, nutty flavor. Um, and then in this bowl, I have a teaspoon gar garlic powder, a teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon salt, uh, half a teaspoon black pepper, and one tablespoon of dried chives. And then over here I have um, two cups of vegetable broth and um, it did say a cup and a half but I'm I think that that's gonna be I don't think that's gonna be enough but I'll use the cup and a half but I just poured a little bit extra in case I need it um, and then I'll put this um, I'll put the recipe in the description box below so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat our oven to 450 um, and that's gonna be so that you can cut up these little potatoes and um, roast them and I'll show you that process in a minute. Um, next you're going to cut your potatoes for your soup into like little little squares like little one inch one to two inch chunks um, and you're going to put them in a pot with the cauliflower and then you're just going to fill it to the very like just past the potatoes and the cauliflower and I'll show you that too. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and I'll be back. Okay, so the first thing I did was I cut up the little potatoes that I'm going to use for roasting. And um, right after that, I put the potatoes and the cauliflower in this pot, and I filled it just up past the potatoes. And I'm going to let that boil for about 15 minutes or so, just until they're like super soft. And while that's going, I'm just going to add some um, olive oil to these potatoes and a little bit of um, salt and pepper, maybe some uh, onion powder, because I like onion powder. And I'm just gonna get these potatoes mixed up and put on the cookie sheet. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so the potatoes are on my pan. I went ahead and put some foil underneath and I turned my oven on to 450, it was preheated. And these are going to cook for about 20 minutes, so by that time the soup should be ready to um, finish up. So I'm going to put these in. Okay, so after your potatoes and cauliflower are um, really super soft, and I think it took me about 15 minutes of boiling after it started boiling, um, you're going to drain it, drain the water, and then you're going to put it back in your pot. And, or if you have a blender, like a stand blender, um, you, could use, you could stick it in there. Maybe have to do it in batches, but that's what she said to do. But I don't have a blender. I have a hand blender, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, so you put all your seasonings, and then you put the nutritional yeast, and you put your stock, your vegetable stock. And I'm going to do the one and a half cups. And then I'm going to leave that out in case I need more. So I'm just going to blend this up. Okay, so 
Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and I just took my roasted potatoes out and now I am going to um, dish it up. Okay, so I actually ended up having to all together add three cups of the vegetable stock um, to this because it just was way too thick and it's still, as you can see, it's still thick. But, um, and I've never had this before so I'm going to um, I'm gonna take a taste of just actually the soup because the potatoes are still really, really hot. The soup probably is too. It's actually really good. It's really good. Actually, I like it. I was a little worried. But this, I would actually think I would make this again. It's really good. So um, if you try it, let me know. And um, don't forget to check out all the other Superlicious um, recipes this month, all through January. And I will see you guys later.